What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2. This is Bowtie SoFly, and before we jump into today's mission, a supply raid, I wanted us to quickly review a soldier that we had in our previous episode. Uh, we have Miss Pokecat. So, uh, again, she is someone that I know I mod with on other streams, I'm a mod on her streams, and overall, she's a pretty chill person. Pretty great. So, I'm also going to be creating one more to start us off. And I'm going to be basing it off someone else that I know relatively well within the YouTube gaming community, and that uh, I am friends with and enjoy talking to and occasionally making fun of. So, with that in mind, should be easy to figure out that I am, for those who at least know me, talking about one Mr. System Freeze. Uh, for those who don't know, he is a streamer. He does a lot of fun content. I know recently he was playing uh, whatever that Mordor game is. But uh, we're going to go ahead and create him. That's not his hair. Um, we're going to do that. He's about to get super crazy looking. that trademark beanie. If you know what's coming. Biggest one I can find. There we go. Big old thick beard. And main armor color. Uh, his Discord profile has a lot of blue in it, so hope he doesn't mind that I'm making him rock some sweet, sweet blue for his profile. And there we have System Freeze, a.k.a. Daddy Dank. So I will be naming him System Freeze as soon as I promote him up, but didn't want him to think that I wasn't thinking of him. Uh, he's been very supportive of me, my channel, and my series, and is just a pretty chill dude, so I do recommend checking him out, and I'll probably, if I remember, throw his name in the link below, along with that of Pokecat. But we are going to be heading out on a supply raid today, which is exciting. And so, we're going to be taken with some of our bravest and boldest in the hopes that we will pass Operation Crimson Serpent and recover some sweet alien Same tech for ourselves. For East Asia. And while we're flying, I'm going to take a sip of my awesome Starbucks Tivana Passion Tango Tea. They just recently started putting it into bottles, and it is fantastic. All right, who are we getting rid of? Uh, C4, I like you, but not enough to keep you in there. Um, since this says, yeah, it's difficult, we are going to go with Dark Jake, and we already have one, uh, I think I'm going to take Pokecat with, because, again, at least if she can't hit stuff, she can, uh, use aid protocol to help out our other people. We will, of course, be taking good old standbys, uh, Blucifer, Keen, and Brunswick. Uh, I am going to, I believe... Yeah, I think I'm going to give Keen Talon Rounds to increase his critical hit percentage. And I think... You know what? No. I think I'm actually going to... First off, make utility items available. Uh, I'm going to keep Keen with the armor-piercing rounds so he can just shred armor. And I want Brunswick to have a greater crit percent chance. So 20% bonus critical chance along with more critical damage will make him very useful as a sniper. Lucifer is going to keep the Tracer rounds so that she can continue to hit things effectively uh, when necessary. Unless, well, what else do we have that she could... Just a Skull Jack? Yeah, it's not worth it. Um, I was going to consider giving Pokecat the Tracer round so it would make it easier for her to hit, but I think I'm going to focus on having her heal and assist. So we got... Two specialists, Assault, Grenadier, Sniper, I'm comfortable with that. Lego! Also, I will take this time while we're traveling here to remind you, if you would like a character made of you in this game, be sure to let me know in the comments section, and I'm happy to make that happen. I do have one other person I know in mind for a character in the future, so I know he watches these rather frequently and complains that I am a madman, so uh, I will be creating another character very soon. Advent train moving through an area of remote wilderness, and they've left plenty of cargo for salvage. That's where we come in. 
Once you're on the ground, eliminate all hostile contacts and secure the area. Seize anything of value. All right, so we are going to neutralize all enemy targets and secure the supplies from the advent train. Uh, I'm pretty sure with these supply raid missions, we don't have a timer, which makes me a very happy man because then I don't have to worry about dealing with time issues. All right, this will allow me to play a little bit more conservatively. I say before I most likely rush in, trigger two different pods of enemies, and wind up probably losing someone. So, nonetheless, I am going to try to keep it good, keep me playing smart. Eliminate all hostiles. Uh, I can't tell which direction I'm supposed to be going here. I'm going to assume not back. Yeah, that would be a smart guess. Not that way. Uh, it looks like it extends to the left and forward. So we are going to play it safe. I'm going to have Dark Jake hide behind this tree. Heading there now. Okay, nothing yet. Cat of the Pokies. We're going to move you forward. On the move. Nothing yet. Uh, I'm assuming nothing here will trigger. There's the train, so it's going to be in this direction that we're heading. Cool. See, look at that. Did it without cheesing it. It's all good. Feel free to leave your hate in the comment section. Anyway, uh, Keen, we will advance you. I'm imagining there's no one Moving to position. behind us, so we should be okay to move you to the side a little bit. Give you a nice vantage point. Um, I would like to move Brun. What a terrible tree. Uh, I really want to move him directly over here. This is probably a bad idea. I'm going to say that and do it anyway. We are going to trigger, and hopefully not. Okay, so hopefully we have not entered its sight radius yet. We have not. That's good for me. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Lucifer, we are going to bring you along this way. I'm all over it. Dark Jake, you're going to come around. Bring it around town. Bring it up around town. Uh, maybe not, actually. Um, I do want to keep Pokecat up higher so that she has uh, the advantage in shots. With that in mind, I'm going to drop Dark Jake down here where he will be in cover. To and hopefully not position. piss anyone off. Looks good. And Keen. Where can we put you that you're also not going to stick out like a sore thumb? I don't see any enemies, so we're just going to pop you right there. On and Pokecat, I'm going to advance you up forward since currently there are no enemies, and I feel now. okay leaving people out in the open. All right, this is our chance to get set up. I'm assuming we're going to see some people walking soon. Yep, there would be an advent mech. Hope they don't notice me. Okay, so Blucifer is going to be noticed if she tries to move or do anything. Brunswick is surprisingly safe. <laughs> Pokecat, I'm going to need to get her into cover as soon as the possible is. Grammar, it's a thing. I don't have it. Uh, Keen, you are just all kinds of in the up. Whoa, whoa. I don't know what this is. Apparently there's something there that will give you at least some cover, so I will take it. Uh, I don't want you that close to Dark Jake, but I guess you two are going to become buddies. Confirmed. So we'll do that. And what's that haywire protocol look like on that turret? Take a little peek. See? Alright. It's over 80, I'm like, ooh, 60, nah, not gonna do that for now. Also, I need to figure out a way to get his tech score up, because that is rather low. So she's got a good shot. I mean, she could feasibly take out a stun like Lancer right now. Um, what do I want Brunswick to do? Brun... Not by the hairs on my brunny brun brun. All right, you can bypass armor, my friend. I know that for a fact. So, could have you hail a bullets the advent mech. Although, at this point,
point, you're hitting 100 anyway, so I'm not going to waste that ability. Yeah. We have, it looks like, is that a shield bearer? Actually, let me... Yeah, we're going to want to take out that shield bearer as soon as possible. Because it will prove problematic. Uh, 6 to 8, 6 to 8, 6 to 8. Uh, she runs and guns. I think, can I get... No, I'm not close enough to destroy that. So, um... Keen, you're already going to be on your second move. Ugh. In that case, I'm going to put you behind here. On target location. Uh, I don't know if Blucifer is going to trigger this turn or not, which makes me nervous. Ugh. I don't think she is, so I am not going to screw with it. If it does, well, we're in a whole little heap of trouble. But I'm gonna... And that seems like it'll be seen. Uh, Pokecat, I'm gonna bring you down... Oh, man. I apologize, I'm taking forever on this. I'm just trying not to screw up, as is my normal case. I'm trying to play this a little bit smarter. Uh, I'm gonna sneak around the back. I don't think I'll be seen. I hope not. Yeah, no, we're good. I am going to throw Overwatch, Overwatch, and Overwatch, though, just in case I am triggered in any way, or I do trigger them. I will then be able to lay down some murder. Okay, they're staying together, which is actually perfect for me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, 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 not okay. So there are seven enemies present right now. Good news is, I can wait it out if I'm a smart human. Oh god, now Keen's right in their line of sight. Uh, and try and take him out. Or I can play a numbers game. At this point, I don't know who's going to be exposed. And like literally everyone has like nine shots they can take. So I think I'm going to have Pokey Cat. Pokey Cat. Pokey Cat. Probably do that. So if she takes a shot, Dark Jake takes a shot. Uh, I could go for the half, but I don't want to. I'm not that worried about the turret, in all honesty. Um, we're going to go for it. I'm ballsy and dumb. Usually a terrible combination. Um, so. Overwatch. Not going to put Dark Jake on Overwatch. Uh, you know what? Yes, I am. I'm on it. Screw it. We're going we're gonna to play this fast and loose, as is my style. All right, so, Frag Grenade. Going to go out. This is going to do some damage. Bye-bye, Concealment. Shredded a lot of armor, didn't do a lot of damage, but made them very vulnerable. So those three I can take out, and I can take a four on five. I'm okay with that. So, you know, all of All right, Shield Bearer is powering up. Show me the money, show me the money. Take him out, take him out. Oh, Pokey Cat, you're beautiful. You're wonderful. You're amazing. Kill confirmed. Oh, I wish these Vipers didn't have this much health. I can't kill them in one shot. Jake. I'll take it. I will take the dodge graze. It puts them in range. Barely registered. Turret. Okay, probably should have thrown a few more into uh, proper cover, because now... Oh, we well, still got some shots with run. Okay. Uh, I can take out that Viper. 62. Not loving it, but I can make it work. I might do that with Rain of Bullets. Or Hail of Bullets. Because that'll make it 100% to kill... And I can actually, first off, Lightning Hands. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to first off, Lightning Hands, 78, 100%. It's 100% to do 3 to 4. That's not a guaranteed kill. 
Uh, we are going to go for the guaranteed kill here on the Stun Lancer. Lightning hands. Dead as a doornail. Uh, do, 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 Lucifer. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to leave the turret up. Again, the turret can hit us, sort of, but we have a distinctive advantage being up this high. Uh, and then I am going to for sure kill the Viper. Okay. Yeah, dodge graze that, you jerk. All right, so we have a five on three advantage. I'm more comfortable with this, although I'm very worried about them getting pulled out of position. That said, Lucifer is great with the dodge and is also very strong, so I know she could take a hit or two if worse came to worse, and I figure they'll probably try and target her down. Oh, you really eat my butt. Anyway, here comes the movement. And that's a real big miss. So we're going to suffer a little poison damage, which isn't great and upsets me greatly, but... Ooh, Dark Jake takes a hit. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. And Blue Spur is going to take one. There it is. So Pokey Cat's in a good position to get some shots off on these Vipers. Although she could also provide cover. 62%. Uh, not amazing, but we'll talk. Brun's going to need to reload anyway. So I think for his turn we might have him frag. I'm gonna have him frag. That's gonna pop that cover. Cool. Um, and then 80% chance to hit uh, versus 74. All right, Keen, don't miss a 74% chance. What did I say? I literally said don't miss that. Okay. Positives. Let's see if we have any. Uh, positive would be that I can first off gremlin heal myself. I am going to do that to me for Dark Jake. Uh, Pokey Cat now has 100% chance to hit the Viper thanks to destroying the cover, getting the flank, as well as hollow targeting. So Pokey Cat's going to get possibly a promotion off this. And a critical 10 damage. Do you see yourself, Pokey Cat? Do you see the work you're putting in? Look at that. Don't ever let him put you down because you're just a squatty. Squatty's still part of the squad, putting in the finest of work. All right. Uh, I can deal five to seven. I feel comfortable doing that. I don't think I'm going to... Okay, armor sucked up a fair amount of that. Next turn, I can actually straight up kill it. No one's in range of dying from that turret. Uh, I could go for the slash... It could kill, but it might not, so I would rather keep my advantage here. And I think I'm going to take the chance. I know it won't kill, but uh, I would rather destroy this thing's cover and piss it off. That was one of those quick explosions. And possibly catch on fire? I can has fire? Yes? No. Whoa! Not okay. Not okay. You can't climb. You're a snake. You're a lie. Oh god, oh god, Pokey Cat, no. Pokey Cat, no. No, no. Wow, they really don't like Dark Jake. That makes two of us. Hey oh! Totally kidding. I love you, Dark Jake. Um, alright, so I probably won't depend on Jake to do that. I think I'm gonna go with Brunswick. So, yeah, Lucifer can take care of that. I'm not worried about her dealing with that right now. Pokey Cat, Brunswick. Oh, right, that's going to give me crap, eh? Eh. First off, let me... Yeah, that's going to happen. Don't worry, Pokecat, you're safe. Oh, Lucifer, so savage. So satisfying. How many is that now? That is many. Uh, let's get you behind cover, shall we, Pokecat? Because you, unfortunately, unlike some of your counterparts, don't have the health yet to withstand... Understood. Some of those attacks. So I am gonna have you medkit heal. Don't move. 
You'll be all there right. Yeah. And she is for sure getting a promotion after this. Uh, Keen, can I have you pop up actually? You can. Ooh. 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 You better make up for that miss last turn. I swear, I swear. All right, shred it, baby. Beautiful. By the numbers. Running low on ammo. Dark Jake running low on ammo. That's fine. Uh, in that case, have you reload? Ready to go. Run's gonna go on overwatch. Gonna take more damage. It's okay. We'll heal you up. This is why we bring medics. It's okay. Everyone's fine. Nobody panic. Move into designated position. Whew. And blue is gonna. At this point, I think I'm gonna have Keen move forward. Uh, boop 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 boop. I can always pull him back just in case he triggers anybody. He's not going to, so moving on up. Dark Jake. And I can always, confirmed. with Pokecat, provide aid protocol, but not necessary right now. So, that will allow us to move Lucifer over. Solid copy. Pokecat. Uh, for the heck of it. We're gonna give Dark Jake his maid protocol. And Brunswick, you're gonna continue to rock that long watch. Come get some. And Keen's also gonna go on Overwatch just in case. Okay, we are all set. Tired of waiting around. Alright, we'll have Keen pop down. There's at least, I'd say, two or three more enemies around. We're gonna find where they're at. Not a problem. Uh, we'll have you Gremlin heal Brun. Heal him up. Let's move already! Pokecat, we'll have you come join your friends. Solid copy. And Dark Jake, I guess we'll have you Gremlin heal. Could have you heal, but uh, why not? We're going to be sending Bluesfer into some danger anyway. Gremlin, might as well. Medical detail. Why did Brunswick not get healed? The F. Alright, Keen's gonna overwatch, so is Brun. Oh, there it goes. For some reason, it just didn't update. Yeah, Brun's at full health. We're good. I didn't kill you, Brunswick. Please don't kill me. Uh, I am gonna move him, though. I understand he has height advantage, but I would rather him have not being that far. Well, I don't know how far his long watch will go. That's what worries me. Pokecat, we're gonna be a little way. dangerous. Lucifer. Uh, I don't want to have her double move. Let's do this. Okay, we found somebody. Advent troop spotted. There it is. Codex. Fun. And two more Advent troopers. Okay. Now. First off, Keen getting cover. The surprising flank on the Codex. Give it a sec. Also surprising shot. Uh, Pokecat, Dark Jake, Keen. I think I'm going to have Keen go for the flank shot. Don't miss this flank shot now, too, Keen. Thank you. So, the Codex is going to split. Brun should be able to take one out. Especially if it comes a little bit closer and into his sight range. Thank you. And nighty night. That's why I love Brunswick. <laughs> and the crit. And the crit. Taking out the alien menace one at a time, my friend. Lucifer is going to run and gun. 
Uh, that way she can get behind cover, cover, cover. Uh, we're going to go behind this cover. I know that still puts her... Uh, it's going to put her still near the enemies, but at least half cover, and it'll allow her to, yes, take care of the Codex. More worried about the Codex than I am about the Advent Punks, because the Codex can empty my ammo, can do a lot of damage, and I'd rather just not deal with that. So, Dark Jake, we're going to move you forward, put you on Overwatch. Pokey Cat, we're going to put you on Overwatch. Now, if they try to come after Blue Fur, especially since one of them was either a Shield Bearer or a Stun Lancer, they're not going to. Okay. I apparently only triggered the one, which is interesting. So, um, since we have time, this is literally what we're going to do. Yourself and Overwatch. Reload. Overwatch. Okay. Everyone's now reloaded, healthy, and Overwatch. So, there we go. Now's where the fun starts. No way. Yeah, I kind of didn't figure she was going to hit that one. Fair enough. That is a shield bearer, though. Really? I call BS, as always. So, as per usual, Blue's first taking the brunt of our hits. It's okay, though. She's a tough lady. Uh, 56% chance. Not super comfortable with that yet. Pokey Cat, we're going to move you a little closer. Okay. That didn't do much. Blue. Keen. Keen's just in an awkward spot. It's one of those, I could kill some of them, but I just, I don't want to put myself all the way out there. Eh. Okay. Pokecat's going to aid Protocol Blue. I'm going to move Keen into a more favorable position. And with Dark Jake, I'm going to provide a protocol to Keen. Going to Overwatch. Brunswick's going to take the shot. Why not? 56% of the time hits 100% of the time. Oh, God. Yes. That. That. More of that. Make that happen. Okay, I can't kill the shield bearer necessarily, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna Overwatch. I assume he's not coming out, which is fine. For the love of God, that's the same amount of damage! You are aided! You are aided! Okay, so Blucifer's gonna be in the hospital for a while after this mission. Okay. Probably should have saved some of those uh, some of those heals now. Wasn't expecting to come across another full battalion. Uh, what I am going to do, I'm going to move Keen out into the open like the dope that I am. That's Pokecat. No. No. I didn't mean to do that. Pokecat. No. No. Uh, I am going to move Keen over to here. Like less of an idiot. And we're going to... We're gonna fire it up over here. Let's see, we got any other enemies? I'm gonna destroy as much of this as I can. So, yeah, let's do that. And that'll expose him, shred some armor, allow Pokecat to come clean up. Buy trees, buy armor. And Pokecat. There we go. Enemy eliminated. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Okay, so we need to hope we don't have a huge mission coming up soon. We shouldn't. Uh, we got four wounded. Not great, but 
As always, our healing time is reduced thanks to our Advanced Warfare Center, I think. Whichever one does that, Guerrilla Ops or Advanced Warfare. Uh, Brunswick destroyed, dealt most damage by far. Um, I'm really upset about that aid protocol. It did nothing. Didn't make him less likely to hit, didn't reduce the damage, just ugh. So I'm going to predict about 12 days for blue, maybe more with the poison. Not bad. Uh, seven days for Jake. Pokecat, you're out three days. Not bad, but you're getting a nice promotion to go along with it. And Keen walks away. Flawless. Because Keen Decker is always flawless. Hidden ability. What did you get, Dark Jake? You got hollow targeting. I love the random hidden abilities that I'm getting. Now Dark Jake has the same ability Keen has, and that if he misses a shot, he's at least marking people. Love it. Threat assessment. Aid protocol now gains, or now grants the target a covering fire overwatch shot. The aid protocol is increased by one turn. Or, overwatch shots can now be triggered by enemy action, not just movement. That's tough to say. Aid protocol now grants the target covering fire overwatch shot. You know what, I put him on Overwatch more than I tend to use Aid Protocol. That might not have been the best move, but you know what? We have two other specialists who are both awesome, so we can always give one of them Threat Assessment. Uh, so 7 days, 7 days, 3 days, 11 days. So we're going to need a week to go by, which is not great, but we'll make it work. Uh, send the Gremlin to Disable. Gremlin can perform healing actions remotely, yeah. Uh, combat Protocol's great, but I like to be able to move my specialists around and be able to have them fire at different positions so being able to heal remotely helps a ton all right we got a codex brain always sweet a lot of corpses alien allies yes finally we're gonna do something fun with those before we call it an episode because we have a ton of supplies a ton of alien allies now new orders commander so what say we hop on in see our friend here and we are gonna get some up Grades. So, uh, yep, I think we're gonna do all three of these. So, we now have magnetic sniper rifles, magnetic whatever the heck the Grenadier has, and shard guns. And look at that, we still have $123, and now we are straight killing it in the weapons front, meaning we're dealing more damage, killing enemies quicker, all about it. High five. Point, I'll high five myself, it's all good. Advent mech to see if we could integrate the Gremlin and AI. let me just make sure our advanced warfare center to our staff with robotic assistance. healing rate plus 100, yep. Not so hold him Majeeds, hold it down. At least not until things settle down. Some. Proving ground. Choose project. How many... <clears throat> I would like to do experimental ammo. Please tell me you're not in Illyrium Core. Darn! Uh, I really want to get a spider suit. Exosuit, combine the power assisted armor. Ah, eh, those are those aren't bad. I like those, but uh let's see, battlefield medicine, dependent by the viper. Coagulation wound sites. Oh! Okay, I'm gonna check on our Illyrium cores really quick, because I really want to get battlefield medicine. It essentially makes our med kits heal more, which is awesome. Um Would that be armory? Oh, command. I just want to check my inventory. How do I... Memorial. Eh. Because I don't want to waste all my Illyrium cores, since those things are harder to come by. I think that is a worthwhile project, though, if we're being honest. So as much as I want to play around with more experimental ammo... Uh, we are going to go for Battlefield Medicine. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. Good news is, apparently I can do other stuff too, because, uh... Skull Mining. 75 Supplies. Skulljack wasn't invasive enough. Titans. 
could lead to new intel gains from our enemies and could even grant access to hidden alien facilities for the purpose of sound. I might do that. I don't think I've done that one before. And the good news is we still apparently can do spider suits if we want. Which, uh, basically, it allows you a free action. You can use your grappling hook to get up and move around. So you can either move around to similarly leveled areas or to shoot yourself up to high ground. So the spider suit is fantastic for snipers. And since I like to use snipers, sharpshooters, whatever you want to call them a lot, might invest in that next time. Uh, very quickly, I'm going to advance to our next event or whatever will happen. Uh, not now on this convoy. Uh, I think... Resistance contacts, I think this is what we were doing before. Course. We're going to advance. I want to at least decrypt the alien intel that I got before. These so, alien encryption. Crucial to our ongoing Research complete. Efforts, Commander. Oh, this gives us the shadow chamber. Uh, I think that, yeah, I forget what that gives us exactly, but it's good. He's good. He's nice. Uh, Muton... Advent Mac, Shield Bearer, Psionics, Five Illyrium Crystals, Nine Days. I think I'm going to do Illyrium, I don't remember. I hope this gives us something. I might be thinking of Meld from the previous games where you got like free Meld for researching Meld. Build the Shadow Chamber, okay. Uh, let me do that when I have like eight more rooms available and don't need to use them to increase the resistance contacts. Designed specifically to analyze any materials we recover related to their avatar project. I would suggest we begin immediately, Commander. All right. The heavily damaged remains of a small airport, uh, runways, blah, blah, blah. Extract the radio equipment so we have resistance contacts. Plus one! Furies. Uh, yeah, Avenger alien alloys, and we have a new contact available. That was a smart play. We can expand, go get another black site. Yes. Yes. Uh, in fact, hey, look at that. Alien facility. Why don't we uh, make contact? 60 intel. We have 113 intel. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. Commander, we've utilized all of our available communications capacity. Yeah, got it, can't Shen. That's why I'm building more things. We upgrade our systems. Oh, she's always on me about this stuff. I get it. I get it. So, let's advance. To establish local regional contact. Oh, this will be good. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. Got it. We're going to slow them down. We'll need to move fast. Yeah, I can move faster if you would stop bugging me. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Okay, so Avatar Progress 3, that's not great, but we also did Guerrilla Ops, Supply Raid, Resistance Rumor Investigated, uh, reduced Avatar Progress by 2, and investigated a black site. So, we're countering. We're doing what we can. Um, okay, we're definitely going to try to stop Alien Infiltrator. Uh, I would like to look at that. Uh, we're going to look. Yep, we are going to avoid the Hunt XCOM. That needs to not happen. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Nope. We are countering black site stuff. Da, 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 view room. Maximum power consumption reached. Yep, we are going to build a power relay. Okay. And thank you, Sun Hee Hong. Whew. Things are getting a little bit intense. If that UFO hunts us down, we are in a lot of trouble. Commander, we want to set back the aliens' work on the Avatar project. We should hit one of their facilities as soon as possible. That's what I'm doing. Stop interrupting me. Okay, good news. Everyone recovered. Uh, Doctor... Engineer, yes. And 110 Intel, yes. So... In our next episode, since we're already at almost 
40 minutes, uh, we will be rescuing this VIP from an advent cell. Um, it gives us 110 intel, which is amazing, and gives us another engineer, meaning we can get more stuff done, finally! Yes! Be excited. Speaking of excited, if you're enjoying XCOM, if you're enjoying my playthrough and watching me almost get people killed, and of course, if you would like me to make you a character, or you just like me in general, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content from the channel. But for now, this is Bowtie SoFly saying have a great day, and stay fly.